Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to fix the error with Steam being no connection or no network connection error that you get when you try to launch a game or the launcher itself. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So this problem has actually to do with a couple of different outlying factors to Steam. It could be admin privileges. It could be um, simply your internet connection or even registr uh, registry issues. Now, to fix this, we're going to troubleshoot every single one we can to actually help fix the problem. And the first thing that we're going to try is the easiest one, and that is to make sure that we're running Steam as an administrator. And to do that, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, you would want to go to where the Steam directory in is installed. So if you guys have it on your desktop, you could simply right click on Steam and click on Open File Location, like so. And then once you guys find the launcher for Steam, simply right click, just like this, click, hit Properties. And from here, you'll be met with a couple of different tabs being security, details, previous versions, compatibility, dig and digital signatures. Now, previous versions is actually something that we'll revisit later as it's another way to fix the problem where you don't get any network connection with Steam. Now, you guys would want to click on compatibility and you'd want to click on change settings for all users and it should bring up this new window and you want to make sure that run this program as an administrator is checked Hit OK, apply, and OK again, and you guys should be done. Now, what this effectively does is it makes sure that Steam is running with admin zero privileges. So all of your computer resources, including networking, are being allocated to Steam, ensuring that you have a stable internet connection when you run the game. Now, another thing that you guys can do is simply closing out of Steam, and you can do so by clicking on uh, the taskbar right here, or the, um, the icon bar, I should say, and then you want to click on right click on Steam and click on exit and then reopen it. And uh, believe it or not, this may actually fix the problem uh, more often than you think. Now, if that does, still doesn't work, another thing that you guys can try is clearing the cache files for Steam. And you can do so by opening Steam. So this is the window, here's the launcher. And you want to click on Steam like so. You'd want to go to restore game backup. Actually, no, let's go to settings and from here, you guys would want to go to cloud. You want to make sure that this is enabled. And next, you want to go to storage. Actually, that's the wrong one. We'd want to go to downloads. And from here, you guys would want to set your region to something else. So your download region, you could try do some troubleshooting, do some trial and error, see which region works for you, whichever is near you. And then after you've done that, you would want to click on download ca uh, clear cache. So clear download cache. So once you do this, close out of Steam, reopen it again, and that should effectively fix the problem. So yeah, that's how you guys do it. So hopefully this video will help you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guys like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all that said, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.